All right, so the weather for the whole week has been overcast and gray, which seems to be a theme, uh, just like in my Just Go Shoots video that you can see here where I went to the mountains like six times and never really got the conditions I was looking for. And I've been trying to wait and just get better conditions, but it's just been either snowy or rainy or weirdly overcast for an extended period of time. So I thought a good way to remain productive was to go find a shot that I have in mind. And this shot that I have in mind is Instead of being and going to the mountains, we're gonna stay in the fields and hopefully find a shot where there's just like a lone tree on the top of a hill in a field. Could be multiple trees, something along those lines. But just find a tree out there in a field somewhere. Uh, and that's kind of the shot I have in mind, but I just, I don't know where it is. And uh, that kind of shot, you can't really just Google or look through a map. I have done some Google mapsing to get an idea of where there could be ranches fields, less houses, stuff like that. But that only goes so far. The reality is we just need to go out and actually try to find the shots. So on a gray day like this, where it doesn't look like we're really gonna get a sunset, uh, I think something we could do is go find those shots for a later date. And I think that's really important that if you feel the anticipation or you really are eager to go shooting, but the conditions aren't just what you want them to be, it's still good to just go out and learn an area, find shots for the future and you might even be surprised and come away with a particular scene that turned out the same day. So sometimes it does work in these gray overcast moods, but the reality is I'm not entirely sure unless I actually go out and shoot. So the only thing I can promise is that we're gonna go and look for a shot. I hope we find one. I don't even know if we'll take the camera out, but regardless, I wanna find this image that I have in mind and remain productive on a day that typically or a week, I guess it would be, that typically doesn't pertain itself well to landscape photography. So with that said, let's get going. <laughs> Gotta go shoot photography. Okay. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, I gotta go. Stopped here because there's a cool tree back here with whew, with this old farm equipment in front of it. But as soon as I got out of the car, it started raining slash snowing slash I think there's some hail as well. Uh, I was just gonna walk around this park and look for shots, but it is really cold unexpectedly and conditions are not great. So I'm kind of just looking around from where I can see in the parking lot, see if there's any shots for another time. Definitely think that this might be a shot at some point. For now, I'm not even planning, planning on taking my camera out. So yeah, I'm probably gonna get back in the car and keep looking around. Let's get going.
<sighs> well, if this isn't proof to just push yourself to get out of the house and go take photos, I don't know what is. So the last you saw me, I got out of the car and <laughs> it was, uh, I guess, snowing, raining, somewhere in between, I'm not entirely sure. But I got back in and I just kept driving north, looking for trees on the side of the road that fit the qualification that I was looking for at the beginning of the video. I took, I got out and took one shot, but the houses behind the trees uh, were just, I couldn't, couldn't get them to separate enough. Uh, I'll put those up on the screen now. And so I just kept driving north to try to get out of the rain. Eventually, I got here. Uh, I didn't know it existed, and I don't exactly know where I am. I believe from judging by the signs, it's called Carter Lake, and it's pretty sweet. I just, I was literally just on dirt roads, county roads, whatever, just driving around, stumbled upon this, came up here, and it's really sweet. There's probably plenty of compositions or shots I could find while I'm up here. And again, the whole objective wasn't to come up here and get amazing shots. It was to find shots so that when the timing is right, you know where to go. And I think that's really important and it's what sets yourself apart as a landscape photographer when you're taking things more seriously is that you can't just go to a spot and get the shot one time. A lot of the times people that have incredible portfolios of stuff go to those locations over and over and over again. And usually those are places that they live near, right? So by having basically a catalog of places you can go that are within driving distance of your home, you can continue to add more and more great shots when the weather is right. So obviously today the weather isn't great, but I just push myself to get outside of the house and go find more of these locations. Uh, being new to Denver within the last year and really only looking around for shots in the last nine months, I don't have an entire repertoire of things in my head to say, oh, the conditions are gonna be crazy tonight or this morning, let's go here. So the more I go out and push myself to find these spots, the more places I have in mind depending on a shot I might wanna take. Now you just saw me set up a shot and I'm just, it's just this dead tree. I guess it's actually probably not dead, uh, just leafless tree at the moment. Uh, in the water, and there's nothing spectacular about the shot. All I'm trying to do is slow my shutter speed down enough so that the water is smoothed out. Other than that, I'm pretty much just shooting dead on. Because of the lighting conditions, I think it might be a good black and white. Past that, nothing crazy. But again, I'm just here looking for beautiful spots, things to add to my brain to say, I'm gonna go take a shot there today or this morning or during sunset. I think you understand what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm gonna take a few more shots. The sun is probably gonna set soon. I mean, it's already pretty dark considering the overcast skies. I might move my camera around a little bit. If I do, I'll include you guys. Either way, here's the photo from where I'm standing right now. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. And if this is the last time I, you hear me talk, I really appreciate you guys checking out the channel. If you want, like the video, if it was inspiring to you or helped you just maybe motivate you, get you out of the house. But. I appreciate all the viewership and support. Thanks again. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye for now. Oh, that's Thomas Heaton's thing. Um, later. <laughs> all right, so I thought instead of just showing you the final line of this image, I would talk about a few of the compositions I took while I was there, since I didn't really do a good job at showing you what I was actually taking a photo of, uh, mostly because I lacked the confidence that it would actually turn out. So this first photo is taken right where you just saw me. Uh, and I'm about halfway between the bottom of the tree and the top of the tree in terms of height, since I'm on a somewhat steep hill that goes into the shoreline. The problem with this composition is even though I planned on cropping out the top and bottom when I took the photo, the rocks in the foreground are still just a bit too distracting. And the horizon line with the mountains in the background kind of cuts right through the middle of my subject. My next composition fixes those problems by going down closer to the water on the shore of the lake. What you'll notice is the horizon line with those mountains is far less distracting and it's not cutting right through the middle of my subject. And even though I plan on cropping this just a little bit more, the rocks are just blurry enough to where they're not as distracting in this particular composition. Now, the final version that I came away with, I did a quick edit in Lightroom, which is not normal if I plan on taking something into Photoshop to remove something, but because of how contrasty I made the edit, I just planned on doing the full edit, going into Photoshop, and content aware filling out that left tree, which I purposely left in the frame to get exactly what I wanted, knowing I was going to content aware the sky out, 
to get those little branches out and I knew it would work. And this is the final image I came away with.